good morning to the students so today i am going to start the new chapter of physics chapter 12 light shadows and reflections from physics first of all i will explain you about the definition of light what is light light is a form of energy which is very essential for the life on earth and light is actually the source of all energy on the earth it provides us food oxygen and fuel it means light is the base and source of all the energy available on the earth let's discuss about the speed of light the speed of light is 3 lakhs kilometer per second in air from sun to the earth the light takes 8 minutes approximately to reach sources of light there are many sources of light we can divide into two groups first one is natural source of light and the second one is human made sorry second one is human made natural sources for example sun star fire fly etc are natural sources and electric bulb candle etc are man made or human made sources luminous and non luminous objects those objects which emit their own light are known as luminous and those objects which do not have their own light or which do not emit their own light is known as non luminous objects now rectilinear propagation of light light always travels in a straight path you might have studied in your previous class that light always goes in a straight line for example suppose you can light a candle and you can take a hollow pipe or a rubber tube and just see the candle through this hollow pipe when the pipe is straight the flame of the candle can be easily seen but when you bend the pipe then the candle flame cannot be seen it means light travels in a straight line it always goes in a straight path and this property of light is known as rectilinear propagation of light now rays and beam you can see here in the picture a, a straight line with an arrow ahead is known as rays but the group of rays are known as beam of light now we'll discuss about transparent translucent and opaque objects there are three types of objects transparent translucent and opaque objects transparent objects are those objects which allow the light to pass through them very easily translucent objects are those objects which allow the light partially to pass through them and just suppose opaque objects are those objects which do not allow the light to pass through them you can take the example of transparent like glass translucent oiled paper and opaque objects book wall etc now shadow when the path of light is coming and there is a opaque object in the path of light then the shadow is formed at the other side on the screen it means for the formation of shadow some conditions are there this conditions are number 1 for the formation of shadow screen is required source of light is required and no doubt opaque object is also required so these are the three essential conditions for the formation of shadow that is source of light opaque object and screen now the properties of shadow and shadow is always black properties of shadows are as follows it is always black it depends on the shape of the object and position of the source of light and a screen is necessary to form a shadow these are some certain properties of shadow so this way student students today i am going to end the topic just wait for the next video study at home be safe at home till then have a nice day thank you